guys welcome back okay so today i decided to do a video which is kind of like out of my norm not really something that i typically do but i'm thinking maybe i should because i have so many palettes <laughs> that a lot of times of course a lot of palettes get forgotten about they get lost in the sauce um there are certain brands that for whatever reason i just neglect them don't touch them don't gravitate towards them and i don't really know why not really sure maybe in the back of my mind i know why i don't really touch them but it's kind of like okay you have to start asking yourself well why do you have them in your collection then if you don't want to play with them but it's not that deep of a question for me because i know that i do purchase a lot of palettes for packaging um for just because of the fact that i like the color scheme you know different reasons and i only have two eyes so of course i can't use all of my makeup <laughs> to its full capacity but anywho so the brand i wanted to kind of dive into today is too faced i don't have a huge too faced palette collection i have a few palettes i would say maybe about 10 to 12 palettes but the reality is i don't reach for them do not and it's like i don't even have the desire to i don't you know i really don't i have them i'm like okay i have some Too Faced in my collection which you know certain brands i i like to have in my collection just for reference or to be able to compare them but yeah i don't know why it is i don't reach for Too Faced. my first thought would be because they're not as bright and as bold and as colorful as palettes that really get my attention or that really turn me on you know but i never just think Too Faced. <laughs> yeah Too Faced. let's get it cracking with some Too Faced. never whenever i think about Too Faced, i'm thinking foundation i'm thinking powder you know stuff like that so anyways i want to just kind of look at my Too Faced palettes i know that was a long rant about nothing but i want to look at my Too Faced palettes and try and figure out for myself why it is that i don't really reach for them maybe it's time to declutter some give some away or maybe there is a specific reason why i have them in my collection okay and that is perfectly fine okay so you know what i will just start out with my <laughs> newest Too Faced purchase this is the pumpkin spice i just got this palette um i ordered it from ulta i believe and this palette is really really cute you guys very very cute now i went back and forth with this palette because i actually gave my gingerbread palette away from the last holiday season release and as much as i went back and forth on the gingerbread extra spicy i think or extra spice i never picked it up even as many times as it went on sale at tj maxx and all that stuff i never grabbed it even though i did think it was really pretty but with this one after i got a glimpse at the colors the story just kind of the feel of this whole palette i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try that out and I won't spoil my thoughts about this palette. I did use it to create this eye look. And I don't know which video is going to be up <laughs> first, this one or that one. But I will say that I am happy to have this in my collection. <laughs> it's a little bit of a spoiler, but I will say that. And after trying this and using this, I kind of wish that I would have picked up the Gingerbread Extra Spice palette and at least tried it out because I think I might have liked that one as well. So yeah, this is one palette that I have in my collection from Too Faced. I don't regret. I'm glad that I did pick it up and I think it'll probably stay around for a while. Now these next two palettes that I have, I believe they're from their like Tutti Fruity collection or something like that. And I'll be honest, the main reason why I grab these palettes is because they went on sale. I'm a sucker for a sale, okay? I never would have paid the full price amount for either of these palettes. I mean, they're real cute, packaging is pretty and all that but i never would have paid the full price i don't remember what the sale price was that i paid might have been like half price or something on ulta during one of their sales but yeah this one is the razzle dazzle berry eyeshadow palette and it's actually really really cute i mean look at that packaging very cute and like i said 
packaging from Too Faced gets me a lot of the time. And this one does smell like berries. It smells very berrylicious, okay? <laughs> and the color story is gorgeous. I mean, I love purples, although, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, it's a small palette, so there's not that many shadows in here, but it's definitely enough to get the job done. I love the fact that they added this dark shade in here because, you know, we like to smoke stuff out up in here, okay? But even though, you know, these shades down here are really, really light, there's some really, really pretty, you know, like this shimmer here, gorgeous, this shimmer, this shimmer, they're all really, really gorgeous. So this palette definitely would create a beautiful eye look. I mean, I've used it once, maybe twice, you know, to create a purple eye look. And I just, I don't think about it. I don't gravitate to it. When I see it on the shelf here in my beauty space, I love it. I think it's beautiful, but I never reach for it. But I'm definitely keeping it. It's not time to get rid of this at all. <laughs> now this other one here is the Sparkling Pineapple. Packaging just is beautiful, if not more beautiful than the Razzle Dazzle Berry. Very, very cute and <laughs> I'll be honest, with this eyeshadow palette, I bought it because I wanted a companion for my Razzle Dazzle Berry. Now, they did come out with a papaya one that went on sale, and I hate that I missed it. I don't know if it's gone or not, but if I ever see it on sale, I'm sure I'll pick it up as well to go along with these other two palettes because that's another problem that I have. I'm a collector, you know, you might wonder why you have so much makeup, you only have one face. Da, 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 da. I mean, yes, I do do YouTube and Instagram and stuff. I love to share the joy and the beauty of makeup. So yeah, I do like to have a large collection, but I am a collector. So even more so than just a user, I'm a collector. So definitely if i see the papaya one i'm gonna grab it as you can see from the color story in this palette it's not really my stilo it's really not even though it has like these gorgeous shimmers in here the gold and the green which you know will cr definitely create a beautiful eye look beautiful sheen on the lid it's just not my stilo so i don't know if i'll ever reach for this palette i don't think i've used it i believe i have swatched it but I don't think I've used it and I don't know if I ever will, <laughs> but absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection. So this is not going anywhere either. Now this palette here, okay. I really wish that I would have had somebody, I probably did and just didn't listen, but I really wish somebody would have just smacked me and been like, you know what, KK, you do not need that. Don't buy that. You don't want it. You're not going to use it. But this Born This Way Natural Nudes palette that came out not too long ago, I mean, y'all. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't even know why I bought this. I can't even tell you why. Is it because it was on sale? Probably, because, you know, sometimes we do clown stuff and we buy stuff that's on sale. No, full well, we're not going to use it. But look at this look at it now to someone else this palette is probably absolutely gorgeous and for some reason at the time i convinced myself that this palette was absolutely gorgeous and that i needed it in my life and quite honestly when i buy stuff like this i feel like it's because i feel like i needed to be an adult that day like you know sometimes i just say to myself you know okay okay you, you know what you need to be grown sometimes you ain't gotta look like rainbow bright all the time. Sometimes you can just be grown. <laughs> no, I don't have to. I do not have to be grown, okay? So yeah, this palette I'm sure is gonna end up in a declutter, a giveaway. Somebody that absolutely loves this color scheme is going to be blessed with it. I never should have bought this palette. Now this palette, okay, I don't have to take responsibility for this palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte. I don't, why? Because I got this in a beauty subscription box, okay? <laughs> 
I didn't buy it, didn't pick it, none of that. I got it in a box, my boxy charm, I believe. But I mean, the packaging is really pretty, absolutely gorgeous. So it's the natural matte. And I mean, honestly, like these deeper mattes over here, I would absolutely use, definitely, you know, to deepen my crease or to create warmth. I mean, these are more cool tone and then you have these little, little bit warmer tones down here. But I would definitely use them for that. But the problem is, I would never pick up a palette like this just for those shades. The reason why I love huge, colorful palettes is because I have my color in there as well as my neutral shades in there as well. I don't have to use two or three different palettes. You know, I have what I need in one. So I would never reach for this palette like, oh, I remember that brown, that, that brown right there. I could use that. Like, I don't need it. I don't need it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going, <laughs> this will probably be decluttered or gifted at some point in time as well, because I would never reach for this just for a brown and lord knows i would never create a whole eye look with just that palette even if i did use that palette i would jump into one of my single shadows or duo chromes or something and put it on my lid because that's just my personality you know i have to do that so yeah that's probably going to be given away next i have my Too faced chocolate gold okay i think out of all of my Too faced palettes this is my favorite absolute favorite i mean for one look at the packaging with that gold drip over the chocolate Ugh, so bomb when i saw this palette i knew i had to have it i actually when i first started my youtube channel was kind of like around the time that this came out maybe just shortly thereafter and i had a giveaway where i gave away one of these palettes and so i wonder if she still has it or if she still uses it but honey i still have mine but this palette i really really gravitated towards when it came out because of the pops of color i love the fact that they added the green the bright fuchsia the purple you even got a black in here so you know and i mean the gold of course the gold absolutely gorgeous i mean you know i'm not swatching in this video because for the most part these palettes you know you've seen a million times over but yeah that green and that gold in this palette make it all worth it for me <laughs> it's like i kind of the way that my brain works and my eyes they just kind of skip over all of these like lighter plain non-fun colors and they just immediately go to the pops of color like okay where's the color and it just excites me it makes me feel a certain type of way so yeah i'm pretty sure i will have this palette for quite a while even after it expires as a collector i'm sure i'll keep it just for the packaging alone because it's gorgeous now these next two palettes what you know what now that i think about it I might have like a certain connection to Too Faced because they were the first kind of like higher end eyeshadow palettes that I ever bought now that I think about it. It's like when I first started my channel and first started really getting into makeup and everything, I was flabbergasted at the prices of makeup, you know, like in Sephora and in Macy's and, you know, just like more higher end prestige makeup brands and stuff. I was like, who paying $50 for some eyeshadow? Like, <laughs> not your girl. Okay. I <laughs> Dead serious. I was like, no, I was a drugstore, wet and wild. I don't know what I'm doing anyway type of chick. So I'm like, I'm not paying all that money for makeup but i bit the bullet and the first higher end more expensive palette that i bought was my um Too faced sweet peach palette and so it's just dawning on me like okay maybe i do have a little bit of a sentimental connection to this brand but yeah the Too faced sweet peach was <laughs> the first higher end palette that i bought i know i've already mentioned this before but oh magnet <laughs> i've already mentioned this before but i saw this palette when i was out with my daughter and i just fell in love with it that was before i knew just how much i preferred bright colors on my eyes you know i thought this was really pretty 
And then when I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like peaches. And then, honey, when I saw that price, I was like, <laughs> next. Uh -uh. I was like, put that back on the shelf because that is not coming home with me. <laughs> she just laughed at me. And shortly thereafter, I went ahead and got it. I think I actually bought it on like uh, the home shopping network or something where I could do like a flex pay so it wouldn't hurt me so much. But yeah. So this was the first higher end palette that I bought and I only used this palette maybe about two or three times because like I said, shortly after I purchased it, I realized that your girl needs more color in her life. But yeah, I'll probably forever keep this palette just for that reason. And of course, this for sure for me was a bandwagon palette, you know, the regular chocolate bar palette from Too Faced, the original. I mean, you know, you start YouTube and you hear all of the influencers and stuff, beauty channels talking about certain palettes and you feel like, dang, I need that palette, you know. If I don't have that palette, then I must not know how to do makeup, you know what I'm saying? Or I don't know what I'm doing. I got to get that palette. I got to get it. Everybody has it. I got to get it. Same thing with the modern renaissance, okay? Ask me if I use that. <laughs> no. But, <laughs> so yeah, that's how I ended up with this palette. Once again, I'm sure I've used this palette maybe once or twice, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like a nostalgia type palette. Everybody on YouTube had it. I felt like I had to have it too. I mean, now I could sit here and try and say, I would never buy a palette like this. It's, no clown <laughs> I just bought and this one is more boring than this one okay so yeah I'm still practicing clown activities but yeah I definitely have this because of you know bandwagon get on the train gotta be you know have the makeup that everybody else had back in the day now I'll buy what I want to buy not you know I don't care who else has what I buy what I want to buy but yeah, that's why I have this. But I definitely can see this going in a declutter and, you know, getting tossed because I have no connection to this palette at all. Now, this palette here, <laughs> this Too Faced Pretty Rich palette, I mean, aside from all the controversy and nonsense that they caused with their stupidity on social media, you know, talking about rich lives matter, basically kind of diminishing the whole Black Lives Matter and importance of that. I have this palette, so I do have that memory connected to this palette, like, you know, okay, that was annoying. But I did pick up this palette. I thought the packaging was so cute, Just, you know, shaped like a little diamond case or whatever but honestly i got this is one of those palettes where you know back in the day everybody was getting tricked with the little pops of blue and stuff like that so i definitely got tricked and bamboozled <laughs> by the pop of blue in this palette um it's very pretty but and you know i really don't have any excuses for buying this why i bought it how i bought it when i bought it because I tried to talk myself out of it, but I couldn't. I just, it looked so pretty in the pictures. It was gorgeous. And then I saw it in person and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. But the reality is it's just like another neutral palette that they've thrown glitter in and a pop of blue. And the thing is, I don't even care for glitter in my palette. You know, I don't hate it like a lot of people do where it's like, oh my gosh, how could you put glitter in a palette? I don't care that much, <laughs> but I don't necessarily want it in my palette. But the blue definitely, you know, caught my attention. It was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. But if you take the blue out, I mean, look at this palette. Boring as I don't know what. So yeah, I definitely got suckered into this palette because of the blue you know i know you guys have seen it a million times before but honestly i think that i don't gravitate to using this palette because it is it's just a neutral palette with glitter and a pop of blue not really my vibe at all so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if i end up decluttering this Next, I have here this Too Faced. This was their 20th anniversary palette. Look how big this palette is. I mean, I know my head is big, but you know, 
look how big this palette is it's big you guys really really big okay but I mean I thought it was pretty I did I thought it was pretty at the time and I really like the concept of kind of like the then and the now you know how they have like the older um shades that they first came out with when they first started and then how they have here the kind of like revamped more updated shadows and colors down here i just thought that was kind of neat how they did that and of course you know there's some pretty colors in here the green the pink the blue and they're actually pretty nice shadows to be honest with you they're not um you know it's not a bad palette it's really not when i used it i really really enjoyed it but you know of course for some reason i just don't gravitate to this at all and i'm pretty sure it's because you know i have these colors in so many other palettes and you know as you use more and more palettes over time like i do um your taste evolves and so it's like shadows that i felt were really really nice and just bomb back in the day now especially using more indie brands and trying out different formulas and singles and ugh, lord especially all of the shimmers multi-chromes metallics you know different kind of shadows that you can purchase and just fall in love with that's not in a whole giant palette it kind of you know, like I said, it's like your taste evolves and you're just like, eh, it's just okay. And after a while, you get tired of using just okay shadows. You get tired of using lackluster makeup. It's like once you taste steak, you know, like, do you really want to go back to the spam? I know some people love spam, but you know what I mean? Like once you taste something really delicious, you know, you have your nice, delicious, crab and lobster dinner you know do you want a tuna sandwich no <laughs> so i think that's kind of where i'm at with a lot of brands that i tried out because a lot of the mainstream you know super expensive brands are not nearly as good not even half as good as some of these smaller indie brands out here doing the thing for the same price or cheaper so yeah <laughs> and i know that has a lot to do with why i don't gravitate to these palettes now this is the Too faced natural love okay this palette does have sentimental value you might have heard me say it before i know you look at this palette you like really really <laughs> why do you have that in your collection it was a gift my daughter gifted this palette to me on mother's day Right after I started my channel, she would buy me makeup and things to use on my channel. And this was one of the palettes that she bought for me. <laughs> As you can see, at the time, she didn't realize how much I was going to evolve into loving color and just color being a part of my whole soul and spirit deep down inside, okay? Or else she probably would have never bought me this. But definitely has sentimental value i used it once um there's honestly some really pretty shimmers in this palette you know to be honest with you even though it's extremely boring to me there's really some pretty you know shimmers sprinkled in here that you could use you know as lid shades toppers things like that even if you do a more bright colorful look but this palette even though it's extremely boring and not at all part of my personality will always stay in my collection because my daughter bought it for me. Now I have one more Too Faced palette to talk about. This one is the Palm Springs Dream. And it's so funny because when this palette came out and I saw it at Sephora, I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Like, man, I really, really want to buy that palette. It's pretty. I want it. I like the packaging. I like what's going on inside but I decided not to get it. I passed on it because of the fact that I know I have so many Too Faced palettes that I never use them like, so I'm not gonna buy another Too Faced palette. Lo and behold, I got this palette in my BoxyCharm. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, that works. I got it anyway and didn't have to buy it. So yeah, it's cute. The packaging is kind of like a little suitcase, you know, it's just kind of like a travel theme palette and you know, I don't live that far from Palm Springs. I'm probably about maybe an hour and a half from Palm Springs, I think. 
and so you know kind of has a little bit of sentimental value a location close to me but as you can see this palette even though it has you know your neutral tones in there it has some really pretty pops of color and the shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous i have to be careful with mine though because i accidentally dropped it i don't know what i was doing but i dropped it hard so i had to repress this and i think the blue i had to fix a bit but yeah you can kind of see they're a little bit you know messed up but yeah i mean this shade here oh it is so gorgeous. And the reason why I know is because I had to repress it. So I had it all over my fingers and it's beautiful. This shade here, gorgeous. And this blue, this turquoise kind of blue, beautiful. I love the fact that they put this kind of like peanut butter brown in here. And then you have your chocolate brown and then your basic gold and your light pink. I just, I like the mix in here. I'm like, okay, Too Faced, you're doing a little something, something with this palette because it's not as boring as most of your palettes. This one has a little pop of color, okay? So this I'm definitely happy that I have in my collection. I need to use it, I really do. Why I've never used it, it could be because, you know, I feel like I have to be careful with it, but this is one that I definitely need to use and I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to put some palettes to the side and you know in a little container that <laughs> that are for me to use. So that's kind of like my whole reasoning for going through my palettes by brand is just to kind of see okay what can I get rid of what's the reason for me keeping these other palettes that i'm not using and i'm probably not going to use is it collector's reason is it sentimental value what is it is it comparison you know is it because i'm a youtuber what's the reason so i'm really glad i did this because you know i see now okay when i do do my next declutter most likely the um original Too Faced chocolate bar is gone i mean it's kind of hard for me to say that though mm. but yeah it's probably going to be gone <laughs> this definitely probably going to go you know to someone who will love and cherish it more than i do because honey i should never even bought it this one that i got in my boxy charm uh, yeah I definitely need to give this to somebody who's going to love it and use it but other than that I think you know the rest of my palettes I just need to use them try them out or else I have them for sentimental reasons which is quite all right I think that's fine I'm not one of those people that feel like oh my gosh I have to declutter I have I don't feel like I have to declutter anything if I don't want to it's my collection and it's my money so I don't feel like I have to get rid of anything I can keep everything if I want to but sometimes we need to just kind of share things with other people that will love them more than we do because it's just going to waste and we need to make room for more makeup okay <laughs> so that's it you guys just wanted to do a quick little video about this let me know down below your thoughts do you have um palettes from certain brands that you just never touch never gravitate towards and you don't know why are you a collector like me and you feel like you know i just bought it for my collection or do you really feel like you need to get rid of some of your stuff so let me know down in the comments below also if you like this type of video i'm you can't really tell from this video, but I'm not really a super chatty person. So I don't do a lot of talky talky videos unless I have to. So if you, you know, don't really care for this type of video, then I won't do it because it's a lot of talking. But if you do, let me know and I'll go ahead and, you know, just kind of go through the different brands in my collection and talk about them. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on my next video.